Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. Today we have an exciting tutorial where we will learn multiple ways to convert a string to character array. So currently our requirement is like we will take a string as a input and we will try to convert as a character array. That means the array will contain each character. So let's start the code. So we are going to learn totally four ways. So let's start the first way that is called character add. So what we have to do? So let's define our input a string str hello world right now we have a string this string we are going to convert into character array. So let's define one character array. I can say here char array one equal to new char array and here you have to mention the size. So what we can do just copy this one and just type here dot length so we have inside the character array and the size is like whatever the string length is there now what we can do just create one for loop int i need to be start with 0 and it will be less than till str dot length here it has to be less than string length and it has to be in increment way now what we can do just type here sys out and you can do one thing str dot character at here you can mention your index point so currently index point is what i it will start from the zero zero means the first character then it will come e then l then l l blah 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 just run you can see we are getting as a each character here so now what you can do just come and give here character array 1 now we are going to put all the character into character array so just put here i i means index of so first time index value will be 0 here what we will get at index point of 0 we will get h so it will set as a h so just copy this one and at the end just try to print your character array save it and run it so you can see it was first of all all the character one character two character like that and at the end we have the character array so this was the first way using the character add view next way is straightforward so already we have input so now what we can do just define one new character array i can say here char array 2 because it is second way and here you can do one thing str string dot two character array so it is a one inbuilt function inside the string you can see it is showing convert this string to new character array so it is a shortcut if you don't want to understand the concept you can directly use it but if you are a beginner i will say like try to follow this approach now we have all the character inside this array so what you can do just come just put this out and you can print character array you can see you are getting hello world in case you want to print one by one what you can do just come and create one for loop and you can define here int i need to start from the zero and it will go character array to dot length i plus plus and just you can print here char array whatever the index position index position means i so first time you will get here zero then one two and it will go till char array to length so you can see here all the value is coming one by one right with the help of index so this is the second way so next way is very interesting here we are going to use get character function so how you can do let's define our character array i can say here object name as a third new and here just try to put the input length so input means str so we have inside our character array length so it has to be whatever the string length now what i can do i can just comment this one so you will not get confused now just come and type str means input dot get character here you can see here you have to pass four parameter first one is source begin source end destination destination begin if you have doubt let's open so first one is what source begin so our source need to begin from where it has to begin from the zero correct now next parameter is what in where the source is going to be end so in means what str dot length that is our ending length str dot length now 
what is the third parameter destination array like where you are going to store your array so we are going to store into character array 3 that is fine and destination begin means where you are going to start the beginning index of destination so it will be also 0 right now just come down and try to print your character array 3 run you can see we are getting output as a hello world right maybe you thought like it is a string but no just type here dot length you can see the length is 13 and if you use this approach come down just put as a character array 3 uncomment change as a 3 run you can see hello world so this is the third approach this approach i think very less person knows about this approach just again you can comment don't want to make confusion we are going to use the fourth approach fourth approach is arrays dot copy of range so what we have to do first of all we have to define our character array so just copy this one come down and make here as a four now what you have to do just use arrays and here we are going to use copy so you can see a copy of range so here we have to pass your character array original that means here we have to pass our character array then starting index and ending index what you can do just type here str to character array it has to start from the zero index and till where you want to copy so we have to copy till str dot length now what you can do just try to print character array run it you can see we are getting hello world again you want to get one by one character just come change as a character array 4 again 4 you can see we are getting output first time hello world with the help of this line and we are getting one by one character so here we have seen four approach so first approach is here character add this method allow for additional processing during the conversion suppose you want to do some other operation also you can easily perform here next one is what to care array this method is conscious and you can often use if you don't want to make your code complex you can directly use this one third approach is get characters so this is also efficient option especially when you want to extract the portion of the string into character array and the fourth one is also very interesting copy of range here you don't want to get all the string you want to start from here till here so you can use this approach so what you can do here suppose if i put here five so what will be happen it will start from the zero index and it will go till five now you can run so you can see here it copied till hello only so these are the four approach according to your preference you can use it that's it for the day thank you mm -hmm.